India is a country with great leadership. We have Chanda Kochar who used ICICI money to fund Vodafone uh, Videocon which ultimately helped his husband. We are having Rana Kapoor who frauded with millions of customers of Yes Bank but I don't know whether he is in India or he is enjoying his vacations outside India. We have Shikha Sharma who almost did the same thing with Axis Bank but no one talking. And the list is very long actually. The list is not small, the list is very long. And we have Jagdish Khattar who did a fraud with a bank of not less than several million dollars. Every passing day that list is growing. In fact, the definition of the leadership in India is completely changed and the right definition of leadership in India is the fraud and incompetent leadership. So I agree, digitization is happening, the world is moving towards electronic commerce, the world is talking about artificial intelligence, virtual reality, augmented reality. In fact, Google CEO raised a very serious concern during World Economic Forum Davos 2020 that there should be principles laid down for artificial intelligence. I agree with him, he said rightly. Because if there is no principle laid down, then it would be a clash. I fully agree with him. I think he was the only one in the World Economic Forum who was talking sensible, according to me. Except him, I have found no one. In fact, I was surprised to see when I saw Sadhguru in World Economic Forum 2020. I was thinking what he is doing in World Economic Forum 2020 who do not know a difference between a forward contract and option contract and he is invited in World Economic Forum 2020. But anyways, no worries. The another person who joined this list is the Kishore, Kishore, Bia, Kishore Biani, the future group chairperson. I think he is more interesting than Rana Kapoor. The reason is that Rana Kapoor frauded with millions of customers of Yes Bank. He joined hand with regulators, sold all his stake and all regulators were silent. Of course, media. And then in, I, I think he left the country or whatever. Now he is not concerned. Yes Bank working or not working, Ravneet Gill going to jail or whatever happened, he is not concerned because he sold all his shares. Kishore Binyani is one level higher than Rana Kapoor because he, Rana Kapoor at least saw that Yes Bank is sinking. So he quitted, he jump out of the ship, take a, a, I would say the emergency suit and quit and let the ship sailing or whatever, that is not his problem. But what Kishore Binyani did, he invited other passengers on the ship and then he took the, the emergency boat and quit. So rather than he in added few more people into the, into the death toll, if the ship is going to get sent. Few weeks before on our YouTube channel, we told you that future group is in, is in touch with few retail chains that you should invest in Mumbai. And they have requested them to do a test trial whereby they want them to set up physical stores in Mumbai. I raised a severe point on YouTube channel and on TikTok channel that this is not the right strategy because the, the physical stores are going away. It is now a no more a reality. Now what happened that before we come to future group, let's talk big names. Papyrus closing 450 stores in US. AC Mure, Barney's Forever 21 already filed for bankruptcy. Pier 1 imports and there are list is multiple. 
these all are the big names those who already filed those who are already closing the stores or they have already closed or one forever 21 already filed for bankruptcy and few years ago they all treated as the big names all big names in fact i tell you one thing due to the virus issue of china i am in india you know else i would be in singapore by that point of time in my last trip when i was one day returning from my office to mrt mrt stands for the metro in singapore i always go my office is at marina 1 i always go via the you know the marina marina by the the, the marina bay sand shopping mall i saw that without putting the name a very big brand continuously four uh, rooms of that big brands were vacant i was very surprised that marina bay sands and all such a costliest place the four continuous uh, rooms are free vacant basically then on the fourth room i saw a board available for sale or i saw for sale the moral of the story is that the retail sector is facing a deep crisis or maybe a death or maybe a collapse maybe armageddon all four are same words whereby having a physical establishment hiring 2 3 5 10 whatever number of people to maintain the customers fixed facility cost taxes electricity and everything is not sustainable because people love buying on e-commerce amazon and more importantly once they connect with google mini home they connect with alexa so the shopping pattern of the globe is changing that to at a much faster pace the decline of all the names i said which is papyrus ac mule barneys forever 21 and pier one imports is directly benefiting amazon because it is cheap like if i have a jacket which i'm selling in forever 21 for a minute the cost of that jacket would be much higher than higher than somebody selling on amazon because he do not have facility cost he do not need to employ people whether there is no electricity cost there is no taxes the only thing he just need to sell on amazon and more importantly the people the number the count of the people those who visit amazon it would be several times in the people those who visit the shop or a store but kishor banyani not understood this and now let me read for you kishor banyani led future group has scaled down its e-commerce venture retail 3.0 and laid off around 350 to 400 employees four former employees said so around 350 plus people being laid out by the future group more importantly two of them said that the layoff across in sales product development marketing and ground operation were carried out in the last few months future group recently shuttered many of his easy day stores and also the app which is easy day grocery app so closer of 140 easy day stores in november it means that future group is continuously firing people note this carefully binyani un- unveiled retail 3.0 initiative by nescom in 2007 and they hired uh, they had around 500 to 600 people to get this done guys do you know that amazon when this jack because was here i don't know what ends up after meeting with that gentleman but jeff because is interested having a stake in the future group at what price he agreed i do not know because after him that not came in the public domain once he left india to us and it is the same future group who raised 350 million dollar dollar bonds only because they wanted to repay or they wanted to convert the high cost debt to a low cost debt and to pay cover the intercompany operations so one side this company is basically taking international debt to either refinance it or to settle the intercompany transaction 
One side, this company is guiding international people to come in India and set up physical stores and they are closing their own physical stores, which led to, to the layoff of around 350 to 400 people. They closed their grocery app, which is Easy Day, which is not one, two, approximately uh, 140. And more importantly, this future group currently is in a process to moving to e-commerce. So India is definitely a great country. I have to say because Chanda Kochar, Rana Kapoor, Shikha Sharma, you know, Nirav Modi, uh, Choksi, and all these leaders can only come in India because they say something and they do something. Before moving further, I would also like to let you one important thing that e-commerce is really getting e. I think the back office operation of the e-commerce would completely be digitized. Robotics would, would take up that role. And I might not be surprised that probably one year from now, maybe one and a half year from now, maybe sooner, Amazon will fire few hundred or maybe few thousand people because Amazon also wanted to strategize their e-commerce. I mean, Amazon knows very well that Mr. Ambani entry into e-commerce will surely trigger the price war. That's Amazon very well know. And Amazon also know very well that till now they invested around $6.5 billion in India, which is not less than 42 something thousand crores. Having said that, Amazon firepower is much, there is no doubt. But all firepowers are having limits. So Amazon, if they need to compete in India with Mr. Ambani, as in when Mr. Ambani will enter into the e-commerce, this would surely trigger a war between Mr. Ambani, Flipkart, Paytm Mall, Mahindra, Jabong, and of course Amazon and Walmart. And having said that, Amazon need to cut or they need to optimize their cost. So I might not be surprised that by June 2020 when Mr. Ambani would be completely ready to launch e-commerce by that time either Paytm or Amazon or both ends up firing more people or maybe this future group will completely scale down their e-commerce operations. Because one thing is sure that future group don't have the money and future group is nowhere standing before Mr. Ambani firepower and Amazon firepower to stay in the game. That's very clear and that is something every entrepreneur has to be clear. To cut the long discussion short, e-commerce is actually getting e. Now previously people used to believe e-commerce means that you have a computer screen rather than going to a physical mall, you look at the screen, you buy your debit card, credit card or any other platinum and all these kind of cards. But now it is actually getting e whereby the backend operation which used to be done by a physical body, now it is being done by an, an artificial intelligence or machine learning. So rather than having a physical body, you might need a robot to get this done. So e-commerce is actually getting e now. And once it would completely be e, it would have thousands of lays off that I'm sure. And that lays off maybe few millions also. So don't be surprised that in the next 11 months of time which is pending for 2020 when all these big names Pepperas, AC Mure, Barney's, Forever 21 and Peer Imports they either close their, their stores or their few already filed for bankruptcy it might possible to be honest according to my opinion that the list would be very long on an international scale also so be careful e-commerce definitely have 2020 as a good year that's for sure with this we thank you very much and have a great time you know my mobile number which is plus nine one nine eight double nine two four two nine seven eight you know our fixed income platform www.fixedincome.global have a good time thank you